All right. On this one, we have the sewer hose is actually inside the bumper. On some models, they may have a small um, white electrical box hatch that you'll open the door and the hose will be in there. Or they may have a small tube mounted underneath with a screw-in PVC cap underneath, whichever. Um, simply find the hose. You may want to get yourself some rubber gloves, uh, something like that, and just take them and once you get once you get your hose in there, take them, set them right in here in the end of the cap or whatever to uh, to pull that hose out. These stick in here a little bit, and after you use them a couple of times, they get kind of nasty. So you might want to get a pair of gloves. Simply pull the hose out, take the hose, drop it down in the in the drain at your park. Put it down inside the drain. Take the two little ears slide it over and lock the ears on to the coupling and then just pull these are already pulled but simply pull the valves always be sure to pull the large three inch valve first because that is your um, toilet waste tank and you'll want to pull that one first and let the water drain out of that once this is done draining simply close it and then pull the smaller valve, which is your gray water, that's going to be your showers and sink water. And the reason for doing this is because the gray water will actually help rinse. If there's any solid waste or anything left in this hose, it'll help rinse that hose out so that it doesn't have a lot of, a lot of debris inside of it. So make sure you pull your three inch first. Never pull both at the same time because you could get the the waste from this backing back up the system and going up into your gray water system. So one at a time. On this model there are two valves. Some models have three. There will be a galley tank also and that lever is usually mounted a little further forward or a little further behind um, the rest of the system. But there should be a label on the side of the coach that will tell you uh, wastewater sewage water, where the connection is, and if there is another valve along the side of the trailer somewhere, it will show that normally. And then to disconnect, just twist the lock, pull this off, and reinstall your cap. This cap should always be put in place when you're traveling down the road so that if these valves do inadvertently open for some reason, vibration, if they get hooked on something, if a piece of tire or something flies up, and actually hooks this and opens it, you don't have waste running out on the road while you're driving down the street.